Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing today? Great. Good, good. You know, I love the theme of this show. Love the theme of the show. I love the themes we have every two weeks because it gives me the ability to think outside of my box, to think about different ways, to think about ideas that I normally wouldn't think about. And the, sh the theme for this week was think different. You have the power to change the world. That sounds overwhelming. The power to change the world. There are 7 billion people in this world. Do I really have that power? You know, something you have to ask yourself about that is your life. Look at your life. Are you living your life to its fullest? Or do you think life is living you? Are you doing the things you can be doing in your life to exceed? Or are you just living day to day? Just looking to get by? I think a lot of people are just getting by. I think a lot of people go to work, drive to work, come home, walk the dog, play with the kids, have dinner, kiss the wife, kiss the husband, sit on the couch, laundry, go to bed, start it all over again. Day in, day out, mundane. But I think a lot of it is because that's what we're taught when we're younger, aren't we? When we're young, we say, you know, you go to school, your parents tell you, you go to school, you get an education, you go to college, you get a degree. You get out of college, you get married, you get a job, you have children, you buy a home, you save for retirement, and then you sit on the front porch when you're older, rocking in the chair, and life is done. But are you really living life? Are you existing with your life? Are you doing things out of the ordinary? Are you thinking outside of the box? Because we do have the power to change the world. Our world. We all have a little world that we can change. And it's really thinking about what can we do? What are the steps that we can take to change the world? You know, the Think Different slogan is from a Apple commercial back in 1997. Maybe some of you know it. It was about, here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the troublemakers, the round pegs and the square holes. Those people who we think are a little crazy, are a little out there. But they're the ones who come up with the great ideas. They're the ones who think outside the box. They're the ones who we look to for innovation for things we did not know that can happen. Really think about it. Think about uh, Mahatma Gandhi. There's one. Did he ever think that he would lead the way he led in his life? How about someone who was in jail for 20 years in a country and then becomes president of that country? Nelson Mandela. When he was sitting in jail, do you think that he was thinking about, I can change the world? It takes a little step at a time to change the world. Thinking differently, we can all do it. You know, what are some of the things that happened in our lifetime changing the world? I thought, I thought about communication. Think about in the 1800s, how did we communicate? Pony Express, right? Pony Express. You wanted, a, you wanted to send a letter to Europe? Well, guess what? It had to go by ship. Take months to communicate. Then all of a sudden, telegraph lines. Telegraph lines, 1800s, Morse code, Samuel Morse invented a way to communicate over telegraph lines. And then in 1980, in 18, 18, 18 what? 1887, 1876, excuse me, Alexander Graham Bell. He figured out a way how to transfer a voice over those same telegraph lines. All of a sudden, we're communicating by phone. And it's still taking time, communication. But all of a sudden, there's a phone now on every street corner. Remember, there used to be phone booths. In an apartment building, there used to be one phone on the first floor. And everyone could use that phone. Then all of a sudden, someone else came up with an idea. Wait, are we stuck with that? No, we're not. We can put them in every apartment. 
Now everyone's got a phone. And then in the 70s, someone comes up with cell technology. In the 70s, think about that. That's not too far. That's not too long ago. Cell technology. Someone took an original idea, and now all of a sudden we're taking it somewhere else. And the cell phone comes. And did you know that in 1987, which is not too long ago, there were only one million cell phone users. One million. I got my first cell phone in 1989. 1989, it was a techno phone. I'll never forget, it came in a bag. The transmitter and battery were in the bag and it had a cord you put up to your, like this. I had my bag and I thought I was cool. <laughs> I thought I was cool, I was cool. 30 minutes cost me $79.99 a month, 30 minutes. But I'll tell you, someone took that idea and said, wait a minute, we can do better. And look what's happened. And now, who can imagine, who, who could do without this? Who can see themselves living a life without a smartphone? And let's talk about the iPhone. You know, hasn't the iPhone been around forever? No. June 29th, 2007. A little over five years and it's amazing how we can take how people can take an idea and think about a different way of using that idea thinking of something else and you know it takes teamwork to do that we can't change the world all by ourselves we can't we need help we all need each other in the business world, we need each other's markets and ideas. In the personal world, we need each other's inspiration and cooperation. And it's so true. Think about your world. Think about the world you live in now. Not the seven billion people. It would be nice if I could change that. If I can change people's ideas, perceptions, and change the world. But I want to start here. This is my world right now. I'm hoping what I talk about gives you some type of ideas, some different information, a different way of looking at things that you haven't thought about before. And then when I go to other events and I meet people, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I can change my world. And I never know where it's going to lead, and I'll tell you why I never know it's going to lead, because I am open to the possibilities that can occur. I don't keep my mind closed. I want to live life. And you can live life too. You know, all you have to do is think differently. Think differently. Read a good book. Turn off the TV. Look at life. See who you can help. And you never know where you'll be able to go. Thank you very much for your time.